Welcome to your community bulletin board here on Channel 3. I'm Barry Schoeder, and I just want to let you know about an exciting event that's going to be taking place next week, June 26, 7, 8, 9, and 30th at Christian Fellowship Church parking lot. We are going to be conducting an event entitled Feed the 5,000. Now, some of you remember this from when we did it eight years ago, and we're going to do it again except we'll probably feed more than 5,000, but you are invited. We're gonna open at 11 o'clock in the morning, every day, Monday through Friday, and we're gonna feed until 7 p.m. every day. You can come as many times as you want to during the week. If you wanna come and eat every day, if you wanna come and eat twice a day, if you wanna bring folks from your office, and they'll all come and eat together and have a great time. But we just want you to know that it's happening and you can be a part of it. It's based on the, on the story in the Bible where Jesus fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. And that's a miracle. And we could end up with needing a miracle here because what happens if more than 5,000 5, people show up and we've only prepared for 5,000? So we'll face that cross that bridge when we come to it but in the meantime come join us for a great time well welcome to the community calendar my name is Raina. i'm filling in as host today and uh, we have a very special guest miquette denny mcmahon oh it's so good to see you miquette how are you i am doing well thank you it is so good to be here as well Good. Now, for those of you who may recognize Miquette, she does teach Haiti. And Miquette, you have a fundraiser coming up here in Detroit Lakes. Can you give us some details? Yes, I am super excited to invite the community to come to our Teach Haiti fundraiser. It's going to be our 15th annual fundraiser on June 22nd from 5.30 to 7 at Holy Rosary. It's going to take place at the Parish Center. And my mother will be with me. I'm super excited to have her. She will be sharing her story as well regarding education, being someone who never had the opportunity to go to school. Um, she's an amazing cook. So she will be, we will be making some Haitian food like um, spaghetti and have some Haitian coffee. And I extend a warm welcome and invite to the community to come support this program and also come see my mom. So I'm super excited to be back. I will be in DL on the 19th and start visiting some of our friends. And But the event is on the 22nd. Awesome. And can you kind of tell us what Teach Haiti is? So Teach Haiti is a nonprofit that supports children in Haiti who are not able to go to school to emerge from poverty. Um, majority of Haitian lives on less than $2 a day. There is no public education in Haiti. Parents have to pay to go to school. And so this program helps kids who have the potential to learn and have an education. We started the program back in 2007, right in DL. My big ambition was to be able to send 10 children to school. And I thought, man, that's a huge ambition. Who's going to help me to get 10 kids to go to school? But the community embraced me. They embraced the ambition and the vision that I had. And today we have 600 children going to school as a result of um, that welcome from the community. So we are so excited to be back and share updates on what Teach Aid is doing. Wow, that. That's great. And what is the cost for a child to go to school, like per child? It's four hundred and eighty dollars for a child to go to school for an entire year, or forty dollars a month. Um, it covers um, the tuitions. It covers the you know like teacher's salary, one meal for the student per day. We have health care at the school. It covers all of that. Um, for most kids, this is their only chance to be able to go to school. We have a major need for sponsor. We need about 140 sponsors this year. Um, this is the year where we need the most sponsors. We just open enrollment. And um, this is this is an ambitious goal again, just like my 10 was an ambitious goal. This is a huge goal, but I am hoping to be able to get the 140 sponsors this summer so that all of the kids who are on the enrollment um, Liz can actually go to school next school year. Sure. 
Um, I I love your your mission statement on your website. You you know, if anyone is interested, you can go and see, um, you know, what this program is about and see pictures. But it the their mission statement is, um, it teach Haiti responds to the gospel of Jesus Christ by empowering Haitian children to emerge from poverty through education. Mm-hmm. Um, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I actually want to kind of go back in time a little bit to how you have a Detroit Lakes connection. Can you talk about that? Yes, um, I am from Haiti where the weather is always 95 to 105. And so that's a legitimate question, how I get to 30 below from Haiti. And so, um, you know, I I grew up in a family of nine and um, we experienced abject poverty growing up. Education was never um, guaranteed. Food was not guaranteed to the point where my parents had to give up two of my sisters for adoption. And um, a few years later, we found out that um, a family in Detroit Lakes had um, had, um, adopted them. And John and Mary Lee, many of you know them in the community. John was a pastor. Mary was a nurse. They, um, John visited Haiti in 1999 and met me for the first time, met my family. And he offered, he said, I'd, I'd love to help you. When I told him my dream and, but I know that it would never come true because I live in abject poverty. There's no way I would be able to finish school. And he went to the noon Rotary club. These are my heroes for sure. And um, he asked them if they would sponsor me through the Rotary program. And he did make sure he told them I would be the poorest student they would ever sponsor in the club as a youth exchange student. And it was important that he made that distinction because when you are a youth exchange student, there are some financial obligations your parents have as well from the from the country that you are coming from, like your plane tickets, your insurance, you pay for all of that yourself. But John knew even if the Rotary Club had said, make it need at least five dollars to pay for something that would not have happened. I could have lost that opportunity, even if it was $5 I needed because I didn't have that. But the club embraced the idea, the challenge. They said they will support me wholeheartedly. And um, I came, they they supported me. I came in 2000. It was surreal being in the community. For the first time having a bedroom to sleep having my own bed and um, going to school where I had all of my school supplies. I never had all of my school supplies, all of my books, having food in the fridge. I never had a fridge to start with. I never had electricity really growing up. It was just an amazing opportunity, a life-changing opportunity, gift that was given to me by the community. Um, And that's what inspired me to start Teach Haiti. I'm like, wow, this community invested so much in me. The Otarians, the Noon, the Breakfast, the Coronas, all of them embraced me. And I'm like, I've got to pay it forward at the end. And that's why I started Teach Haiti. I lived in a community that that showed me kindness. Excellent. And then... um... You know, we encourage everybody to go to the fundraiser on um, June 22nd at 530 at Holy Rosary. But if you can't, you can donate um, uh, through the website. Um, And the website again is? Our website is teachhady.org. It's one H, teachhady.org. And we we have some major needs. Um, we are really in need of sponsors. It's $480 to sponsor a child of forty dollars a month. Um we we are in need of about 140 sponsors this year. We just opened enrollment and we really could use the community to help us with sponsorship. Other ways people can sponsor just being a monthly supporter. It could be $20, it could be $10 because we have a huge deficit on our monthly operating expenses and any donations of any kind whatsoever makes a significant impact for what we are doing. And we continue to rely on this community because DL is our backbone, is our backbone. Regardless how large we become, DL will always be the backbone of Teach Haiti. And I'm super excited to be back and see everyone. Excellent. So that is, again, June 22nd. You can see Miquette and her mom. Um, that's at Holy Rosary. The, the 
kind of parish center there and um, 5.30 to 7. And it's a free will donation. So make sure you come and see Maquette. And um, if you can help out a child, that's great. And or if you need to just want to donate five dollars, I Miquette will take it. <laughs> so yes, thank you me. for your time, Miquette. And so um, I appreciate you coming on the program. And I hopefully we'll see you when you're in town. <laughs> I hope so too. Thank you so much for this platform to share. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you, DL, for being awesome. Yes. Well, that's going to wrap up our community calendar for today. So if you want to get on the community calendar, you can reach out to me. My email is on the screen um, and share your event. So we'll see you next time.